Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 12th, 2020. I'm gonna give this another try. I don't know what happened with the first recording, but as I move through charts, the um, recording didn't pick up the new charts. It just stayed on the diamond, so I apologize. This video is going to be late again today with a problem here um, um, not moving through the charts, but let's give this a try. So the first thing I want to talk about here is the market itself. We've been rallying up nicely in the market, but it's really being led by the big four companies here. And I'm going to move through this pretty quickly because I'm running um, short on time this morning. But as you can see, the Dow has been locked into a tight, tight consolidation here. And if we take a look um, at what we've got going on, we've got a 50 day moving average that's starting to flatten out and turn over, which is a good sign. But if if we look at the Dow and measure the Dow itself from here to the 50 day moving average, it's about a 1200 point decline if we kind of fail in this level. So as we push up toward these resistance levels in the chart, we're going to want to think about how wide a range that that is in these charts and a pretty uncomfortable situation if we do start to slip south. Now, what's going on here is if we look at the diamonds and if we look at the SPY, SPY, all also locked into a wide range consolidation. And we're getting that sense that we've missed out or we're missing out on something big because that NASDAQ keeps extending higher and higher and higher. But really when you look at the, the other indexes, we really haven't missed much of anything. We're in this wide range of chop and kind of a difficult situation to know what to do. And we're pushing back up toward those resistance highs this morning um, that we're going to have to be watching very, very carefully. Once again, the bullish part of this chart is really, really nice. And that is that 50 day moving average starting to flatten out and turn. Let's hope that that if we do get some kind of a pullback, that will hold us as support. Now this morning we're seeing bulls pushing once again this morning ahead of a CPI number. Um, right now uh, Dow is indicating up, gapping up more than 100 points this morning as we continue to put on a brave face ahead of that CPI. And let's take a look at those cues. The cues are just incredible. In fact, I would say extremely stretched at this point. Um, six days straight up in this move and we're pushing up here toward these resistance levels in the chart. NASDAQ just refuses to stop and it's really being led by the big four. If you take a look overall, um, it's those big four, Apple, Amazon, um, Google, and um, Microsoft leading the indexes higher. They had really good moves yesterday, pushing things up and everything else, well, maybe not so much. I'm getting a whole lot of kind of sideways and consolidating range movement where there's just not a lot of momentum in some of those other stocks to keep them moving. So interesting situation. Now, NASDAQ is very, very bullish here. If I remove some of these lines, you can see that we're pushing up here toward these um, resistance levels. If we were to pull back, notice that we're going to have a substantial pullback just to come back and find some support levels in the chart. So make note of that. And if you're long some of those tech stocks, it might be wise to start thinking about profits or watching closely in case this does turn. Uh, my question is what happens if we do start seeing profit taking in Microsoft and Apple and, and those kind of stocks? Um, what's going to hold us up if those start to slip. So keep an eye right here, that 50 day moving average turning, crossing up, may cross up through that 200, providing a nice area of support if we do get some kind of a pullback. So nothing bearish here at all, just a little concern at how stretched we are um, in that index. Take a look at IWM. IWM also struggling along here. Had a little bit of a trouble, trouble yesterday right at the end of the day, a little bit of selling, but now we're gapping up once again again, just bulls pushing constantly um, in this market, pushing, 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 holding up in this trend. But let's watch this closely. IWM has largely been struggling here along with the diamonds and the spy in kind of a wide range chop. Let's take a look at um, 
the VIX here real quick. The VIX has been sliding. We gapped up yesterday morning as the market gapped down. A little bit of fear coming in and then those bulls reasserted themselves pushing back. There was the hopefulness that we heard news of you know more reopenings um, in the United States uh, trying to get back to some somewhat normal. Um, we heard from um, Congress that the Democrats are trying to push forward a privately constructed stimulus bill um, and that obviously two trillion dollars is what we heard and that is um, gave the market a little bit of levity as well yesterday kind of fueling up on uh, that government printed money and, and and stimulus plans so we're still in a downtrend here let's watch this level right here pretty significant level of price support there in the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. This one gives me the most concern right now. T2122, while the index has moved up, T2122 actually declined. And what that means is there's really more companies moving sideways or south than there are companies moving up. And if you've looked through a bunch of charts, you can see that. that the overall breadth of the market is pretty scary right now as we continue to extend um, in these markets. So be really, really careful. Be watchful of that price action. Be careful not to chase. And you might be wise to be thinking about um, where you might take some of those profits to protect yourself if we do start to turn uh, to the south. Um, so watch that close. Let's go um, take a quick look at our um, economic calendar for today. And this is something that we really wanna focus on this morning. And, and unfortunately, you're gonna get this video after the CPI number comes out because of the problem that I had. But as you can see, CPI is gonna be really important today. And if we take a look at that consensus right now, last, um, last month we had a negative uh, 0 0.4 CPI. They're looking, the consensus is looking at that doubling this month. And it makes me wonder how much longer we can continue to ignore these actual uh, market impacts here and unemployment in the market. Perhaps the federal spending, all of that FOMC printing and everything that's going on can continue to mask that. But it seems to me like we're kind of getting a little bit out of the box here, a little bit ridiculous, honestly, um, in this rally. So be really, really careful in case we do start seeing that problem. Keep in mind, we have a big Big group of Fed speakers here today and then we even have Jerome Powell added to the um, calendar um, we'll want to pay attention to tomorrow um, remember we've got PPI in here we've got jobless claims we've got retail sales and industrial production we've got some big numbers yet coming this week and considering how extended we are in the market we're gonna want to watch those pretty closely in case we do start paying attention to those numbers um, on the earnings calendar, we're starting to diminish in our second quarter earnings. A little bit of a decline, about 150 companies reporting today. Now, because I'm re-recording this and I don't have a whole lot of time, I'm going to skip those companies. But um, you want to pay attention to anything that's reporting. And this week, we kind of um, wind down a large number of those earnings, with Thursday being our biggest day of earnings reports. But we're kind of winding down down that uh, second quarter earnings season and maybe we'll be focusing more on those economic numbers as we go forward. So let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could help me out here if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and then also if you feel the video is worthy click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and I just want to say thanks you guys your comments are so wonderful I, I really feel um, so blessed to have so many folks supporting the effort here that of, of me putting out these videos every day and I truly truly appreciate it thank you so much you guys are awesome I truly truly um, am humbled and appreciate that very very much Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And one of the things that was really notable yesterday is retail. Target 
um, Target took off yesterday in a really big way, popping through some resistance. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this long at this point, but retail really got inspired yesterday, popping higher. So I would want to wait for the next rest, consolidation, pullback in here where we find trend and find some support in here. So watch that closely if that rests. We saw a good move in Dollar General breaking this little downtrend just all of a sudden, pow, went like a rocket shot, pushing up here into price resistance once again I wouldn't want to chase that but any rest consolidation in here would set up an opportunity here in those trades um, let's take a look at stocks like PZZA continuing to run since um, if you guys caught um, any of these morning videos um, that pop up here since um, the alert this little pink line right there is my alert and you can see has been moving up strongly ever since and really good earnings report looking very very strong I've mentioned Valero Energy as a potential it's popped the alert continuing to move up we want to watch some resistance levels here in the chart and then overall we have a downtrend but Valero energy is looking pretty good as a matter of fact energy stocks overall have been very very good take a look at that iRobot since it popped the alert just continuing to move up looking very very good in the chart other charts you might want to keep an eye on take a look at five below five below I'm not sure I would be interested in trading this to be honest but we have a beautiful pattern here I've placed an alert on it and as you can see it's setting up right here in this area trying to push on through but we have a resistance level pretty close which makes the risk reward on this maybe not so good but it's one to watch since we've got um, all that energy going on in retail um, stocks like Home Depot, since it's popped up, oh, it's alert, continuing to run, pushing up toward these resistance levels. Again, I wouldn't chase them. I would wait for the next entry into those trades. If you're looking for a trade that could be moving right now, I mentioned Kroger yesterday. It did pop through and continued to move higher yesterday. And it looks like we're opening a little bit higher here this morning on um, Kroger. Don't be too surprised if this finds a a little bit of rest or consolidation over here toward the trend but keep an eye on Kroger we are obviously going to continue to need groceries and that's one to maybe watch um, here in the near future also take a look at Weight Watchers talking about groceries and now we're talking about losing weight but Weight Watchers holding up nicely here in this pattern and although it seems there's a lot of stocks kind of going sideways we really don't have a lot of momentum in a lot of stocks we've got the big four pushing but we don't have a lot of momentum in some of these stocks but let's keep an eye on this this continues to hold up well same with stocks like Humana been dancing along this support level not really any sellers in here but nobody no real buyers yet either so I'm watching this closely and I'm going to be favoring an upside move if that can pop through and go so keep an eye on that stocks like tractor supply after popping alert breaking through moving up hitting the next level of resistance once again don't chase a stock like that wait for the next entry into the trade this has a beautiful trend so just let that slide side ways or pull back there may be another opportunity in a stock like that so lots of potential trades out there to be watching for as the bulls continue to push and um, some good um, good stocks setting up all over the place O'Reilly is another one of those stocks where we're consolidating right here to price resistance and we're starting to show that bullishness and that willingness to want to push up so everywhere you look there's stocks that are in a nice consolidating zone but we're just lacking a little bit of the momentum to push them through let's watch that carefully in case those bulls find that inspiration so with that everyone to cut this short because of um, uh, the problem that I had I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you all of the best everyone take care have a great day we'll talk to you all bright and early tomorrow morning have a good one